my gosh, I love this. You look gorgeous. Well, thank you. As usual, happy Friday the 13th. Thank you, my dear. Um, we first met, do you remember when? I do. <laughs> we met at the Will and Grace program. Yes. And all of us were like, Oh my God, Annette Benning and Warren Beatty are here. We were freaking out. It was really fun to see the show live. It was really impressive, I have to say. It's wild. The speed at which you all work, and when you, you know, if you have to go back and do something again, and just the precision of it, it was, it was Well, it's really like theater, cool. right? Yeah. It's a lot like theater. Um, and happy anniversary, 28 years married to Warren Beatty. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. How well, was that like? Oh, we're very proud of that. Um, I have to say that my parents, who are 93 and 91, will be married, this fall they will be married 70 years. Oh, Hi, Mom man. and Dad. Like, amazing, That's right? That's crazy. Yeah, incredible. And do you, you'll, you'll match that. Easy. You'll beat it. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Nice, it's a nice goal. <laughs> it's a nice 2020 goal. Um, so do you still live in the same house that you grew up in? My parents, I mean, your parents still yes, live there, sorry. Yes, my parents do. They live in this, we, we moved into the house when I was 10, and they're still in that house. That's crazy to me, so wait, wait. Yeah. So when you go home. That's right. Are all your, your Barbie dolls still there? They are, no. No, they've actually, they redid my room, but I'm not full of resentment or anything. <laughs> But no, it's been a while since we all lived at home. But do you, and when you visit, do you really just stay there in your room and? Yes, uh, right now I can't stay in the room because somebody else is in there. But yeah, we all stay. And, Kick them out. Uh, I have, exactly. <laughs> we, I have two brothers and a sister. We're all helping with our parents. We adore them. We're a very close family. That's so, right. Yeah, we are there a lot. And I love that. We get together a lot and see them, and they're amazing people. They're an inspiration. I love that. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, married that long, they're already an inspiration. That's huge. No, that's they a, are. They're incredible people. I love that. Well, that's why you're an incredible person. <laughs> now, I live and I love dogs. I live for dogs. Okay. You have a big, big, big dog. I do. What, how much does she weigh? She weighs 130. No way. She's oh in God. Newfoundland. Look Wow. They're gigantic. Oh, there she is. She's beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell how big she is, but yes. Yeah. I was just on that trail this morning, in fact, with her. She's awesome. She's she, gentle and sweet. And I love her. Adorable. She weighs more than five bachelorettes. <laughs> <laughs> she. <laughs> she does. She does, right? Yes, she does. Um. <laughs> but it doesn't bother her at all. She accepts it. Yeah, far, why? She wears it well. <laughs> she does. It's a bitch She's to get good dressed in the morning, but. <laughs> yeah, and brushing the hair. Oh yeah. my God, it's a nightmare, but she deals with it. I love her, she's so gorgeous. Um, now, you also have ever gotten this, that you look a little bit like Elizabeth Warren? Do you get that? I love that, I do get that, yes. Yeah, let's do a uh, split screen. I mean, ish. No, I, it ish. depends on the hair, and if I get the glasses right, if, I, if my hair was a little bit more, yeah. No, I do. Have you ever met? I, I have met her. I went to hear her speak, and I, I kind of tucked in late into the, I mean, she had just started to speak, so I just kind of sat in the back, and I sat next to this very nice man who I ended up having a good chat with afterwards, who is her husband, who's an amazing guy, who I don't feel got very much credit as she was running, but he's very supportive of her. Mm -hmm. He's also a Harvard professor, and just so proud of her, and yeah. so in awe of her, and I just thought that was, that was so, a good reflection on her, that she had this amazing man who was her partner, who's highly intelligent, and just loves her power, yeah. and loves her in intelligence. I yeah. am a fan of hers, I well, think you she's both, amazing. Yeah, she is amazing, I love her too. You also share that back too, that you're both incredibly intelligent women as well. I just well. think. By the way, I'm a gigantic fan, as you know. Thank you. I, and we, we both are Broadway fans. We are. And uh, both nominated for a Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, yeah. But you went back to Broadway after 32 years. I did. And tell me about that. You got, you got your start doing theater in New York, right? Yeah, I mean, I was, a, I was also in the regional theater, which I'm very proud of. Yeah. So I started in San Francisco, and I worked at the theater there at ACT, and then in, in Denver at the Denver Center Theater Company. But then I did go to New York, and that was my 
thing was was doing theater. So it was it was well, it was incredibly lucky that I got the show that I did when I moved to New York. It was off Broadway, and then it moved to Broadway. It was a show called Coastal Disturbances. Yeah, right. Tell me about that sandbox. Didn't you have to like? Oh, I was buried in the sand. You know, when you go to the beach and you get buried in the sand, we always did that when we, especially when we first moved to San Diego from the Midwest, uh, we always did that. So yes, in the play, he would completely bury me in the sand every uh -huh. performance. Mm -hmm. Tim Daly. Oh my gosh. Oh my look God. At, you look so happy. <laughs> It is a romance. It's a yeah. It was a romance. Well, I think you're amazing, and I love. I saw you in the Cherry Orchard downtown oh, L.A. Okay. Blown away. I'm blown away by everything you do, Thank and you. I think you're amazing. Thank you so We're much. We're going to talk more with Annette when we come back.